Adobe FrameMaker 2019 lets you work with your EDD in a workspace similar to what is seen here. I have the structure view on the left, the topic showing tags in the middle, and access to tools like the Element Catalog appearing on the right-hand side. Near the top right of the screen, you'll see that this is the XML workspace. I'll guide you through everything you saw in the previous slide and help you develop an EDD. I'll start by clicking on the Structure menu. You'll see that the submenu for the EDD provides multiple options, including one to create a new EDD. Your default EDD may appear similar to what's seen here, but not necessarily exactly the same. That's because of the workspace I'm using. Before making any change, though, let's use the File menu and save the document. You likely need to create a location to save your documents. Here, I've created a My Tutorials folder directly on my desktop. I'm also going to change the name by typing in topicedd.fm. Once the document is saved, let's view the element boundaries. These boundaries can be displayed as a simple set of square brackets or as tags that display the name of the element. Element tags are useful early on when you're getting started, but I prefer to turn them off for most of my day-to-day -day work. Instead, I use the Structure view to guide me. Let's go change the workspace from Authoring to one optimized for structured content. The default workspaces are provided by Adobe, but you can create and save your own. At any time, you can also reset a workspace if it's been modified from the default. Your workspace should appear as seen here. The Element Catalog on the left, the Document window in the middle, and a set of options for your elements and attributes running down the right. If not, near the top right of your screen, you can click the drop-down for XML Structured and reset the workspace.